Well, after a lot of time and effort, I got the new drum room done. Um, if you follow my channel, um, you saw a little video where I said that I was going to change my drum room into my oldest daughter's room and then take the back porch that was just a screened in porch um, and turn it into the drum room. And now that is reality. I had to uh, put up two by four bracing and uh, put insulation in and did the drywall. I did it all myself and if you look close enough you can tell because everything is not perfect but uh, it works. And this shelf here, I um, when I was putting the two by fours up to brace it um, for the studs and everything else, I made sure and I did a horizontal um, stud along this at five feet. So when I came in here I could measure to make sure I knew I was at the right place where I get into a stud and so I, uh, this shelf is not going anywhere which is a good thing because there's over 20 snare drums on it. But uh, today I'm going to do a snare drum uh, tour and go through all my snare drums and then in another video I'll probably do the rest of the stuff in the room. But uh, this first one here is a 14 by 12 marching drum that I actually got in a uh, music store that they had upstairs he was looking for parts for another drum set I was buying and he saw the shell and he's like oh, you want the shell you can have it so it's American maple um, I can't remember the brand it wasn't anything I'd heard of before so I took some lugs I had off of another uh, drum set um, some standard Ludwig standard those actually might be off of a rocker um, but so I added those and I did them offset and then I chalk painted it and uh, finished it up and it's actually a pretty cool sounding snare drum. Next we have is a Ludwig um, 14 by 10 marching snare drum. Um, I did a video of this. It's actually chrome over aluminum and uh, I re-wrapped it with some wrap I got off of eBay. I think it's a pretty cool wrap. Um, I added die cast hoops and everything else that you see there. And then this is a Pearl Export EXR. This came with the kit. The rest of the kit is uh, down here and over there. But it's, to me, one of the coolest wraps ever on drums. And blue is my favorite color. So I um, haven't really played it much, but it's really cool looking snare drum. And I figure I'll keep it since it matches the rest of my kit. Um, this is a D Drum AMX Dominion um, snare drum with ash uh, outer ply. It uh, has die cast hoops and the thing really sounds good. It's, I think it's a 14 by 7. Here's an Odery or a Odery, I'm not really sure how you pronounce it. They're um, based out of Brazil. But uh, this is Sapili wood, which is an African hardwood. It has a really cool finish and the uh, thing sounds really good. It has a lot of good low end punch. Here is a Premier 14 by 8 uh, snare drum with the, the parallel straining system that's like on the 2000, the Premier 2000 drums. Um, this thing has caused me some issues. Um, these little parts in here have screws that adjust the snare wires and uh, they're really brittle if you try to adjust them. So a couple of them broke and one of them was already broken so I was able to find some off of another drum. Not the easiest thing to do but uh, this thing sounds awesome. I really like these die cast tubes. I think they look really cool the way they're, they're made. But a great sound of snare drum has reinforcement rings. Here's my 14 uh, by 8 DW Collector Series nickel over um, brass snare drum. And this is my only like legit DW drum I have. Um, I had the PDPs and then I have another DW Design Series. But uh, this is the one with the real, real size lugs, not the smaller ones. They're, you know, not real, but the full size lugs. Um, great snare drum. And here's my Pearl 14 by 8 free floating snare drum. Um, thing sounds awesome. Um, they're kind of hard to find in this size. You can get the smaller ones, of course, easier. But a uh, great sound snare drum. Um, here is uh, this was a Premier 2000 uh, shell. It had some issues with the rest of it, so I just used a Pearl free floating basket and put it in there and I did some custom wrap. There's a video that you can find on my channel about that where I worked on that. Um, this is a Phosphor Bronze Legend snare drum. Uh, really sounds awesome. Um, great pop to it. Um, kind of rare, hard to find drum. 
Um, here's my latest drum I got, and I haven't even really played it that much, but it's uh, the acrylic DW uh, sea glass color. Um, really cool snare drum, my only acrylic snare drum I own. And then here's another free floating snare drum, and this is a 14 by 8 maple, and that is one of my favorite drums. Um, sounds great. Here's a custom um, Bubinga shell, all Bubinga, that I paired with a free floating snare drum basket and it sounds great. I got that shell from Champagne Drum. He does a great job just like that on that uh, aluminum kit that I have over there. This is a Tama Artstar SE or ES sorry um, brass snare drum that I took the finish off and patina it myself. It has a really relic or you know aged look but I think it turned out really cool. It's unique. Um, the finish had some issues already, so I figured I would just uh, completely redo it. Here's a pretty rare snare, a CB700 copper free-floating snare. Um, they have ties to pearl, of course, and these came out before the pearls, actually, and this is copper, so it's a, not ever getting rid of this thing. It's pretty cool. Here's a custom uh, drum that I did. I got the shell um, from Drum Factory Direct, and uh, it's mahogany and I added the throw off and the psychedelic red or whatever color wrap. I got that off eBay, but it's a pretty cool custom snare drum. Here's a DW Reflex uh, snare. It's a 14 by six and a half. And it, you can't really tell, but it has a really cool, like not rainbow sparkle, but just a bunch of different colors in there. And I have another D drum uh, kit that's the Reflex. So it kind of matches that. It's a different finish, but it's same series. Um, this is an Autocrat John Gray snare drum made in London. Um, really rare snare drum. You don't see these too often. But of course the throw off, which was really cool looking on the original ones, is was not present on this one. So I had just had to add a different throw off. But the die cast hoop's really cool in the lugs. And it sounds bigger than it is. I think it's four or four and a half deep. But it sounds great. Um, here's a Revere 13 by nine I believe uh, marching snare drum that was single tension I added the um, lugs and I redid the hoops and the finish on it and I think it turned out cool um, here's a Remo piccolo it's a 13 by three three and a half and it of course has the shell that's made by Remo it's not actually wood it's kind of like recycled wood um, and others it's, not like particle board, but they press it together and it actually sounds great. Um, here's my pork pie 13 by seven patina snare drum that I added wood hoops to. Um, these are great sounding drums and that's kind of where I got the inspiration to do some patina on my other uh, snare drums that were brass. Here's a 13 by seven Orange County percussion uh, snare drum and you can find these all, all the time on Guitar Center, um, but I put a different wrap on it and uh, I think it turned out really cool. Um, here's an M80 uh, side snare, and the thing has a great pop. Here's a Champion, which was made by uh, Rogers, I believe. It's single tension, just a cool little drum, kind of something you don't see all the time. Uh, then I have the Ludwig Element Birch snare drum that came with this kit right here. And uh, it sounds good, I just like a deeper snare drum. Um, here's the stick holder up made out of the premier uh, marching drum it's a 12 by or 14 by 12 but it's not even a snare drum which is kind of strange to me but uh here's a cb um made by cayman snare drum i'm not sure if it's aluminum but I, they kind of made these to look like an acrylite and they were student models actually sounds really good it's tin lug i added a different throw off to it, a tie uh throw off here's a gracie made in japan snare drum it has a very cool finish um the throw off is one of the coolest i've seen it's just just neat how it works now i've got this adam brand drum and it actually says adam on all the lugs which is pretty funny um so i had to buy that i saw it on shopgoodwill.com um here we have a 14 by seven and a half walnut pdp snare drum this is my first drum with wood hoops uh, it has a great pop. It's a very nice snare drum. It's beautiful, um, and I really like it. Here is a Slingerland marching snare drum that I completely redid. 
um, it was single tension as well and I had to finish with chalk paint and it I uh, really like how it turned out here's my aluminum 14 by 8 uh, custom snare drum that uh, champagne drum did the the shell and the lugs and then I added the hoops and the throw off and butt plate here's my Yamaha uh, brass snare drum it's not a bell brass but this thing is pretty thick um, it sounds really great has a good overall sound and one of my favorite snare drums and I think that's about it for my snare drums and the next videos I'll do I'll give you a tour of the rest of the room and go over uh, the symbols I have and the drum kits and everything like that so see you in the next video